What is up, people? My name is Shockofina, and I'm the coach of Year Lake here on Lanterns, here in week six of the NBA Pokemon Draft Battle League. And welcome to our team building video to go up against Good Morning Croto and the new Mauville Patriots. If you guys are excited for this team builder and the battle video coming out tomorrow, please leave a like down below and subscribe. Also, check out my Twitter to be notified when that battle video comes out. And let's just jump right into this. Um, Chrono has only lost one time this season. So he's 4-1 and one right now. And he has a very, very, very good team. On his team, he has Dragonite, Florges, Greninja, Venusaur, Meloetta, Luxray, Mega Agron, Gyarados, which by the way, can I just say something really quick? Chrono, how the hell is your Gyarados 21-0? for kill death ratio this season how does it even do that guys like come on man i'm so scared to death of this friggin gyarados dude uh he also has a glass score hariyama and lucario so a lot of very strong really hard hitting pokemon and he obviously knows how to use them gyarados is 21 and 0 are you serious come on man that's ridiculous anyway um <laughs> we're just gonna go over here and be scared for a minute we have our excadrill life orb sand rush uh, basic stuff. We're running shans uh, sand shenanigans again this week. Uh, Iron Head, Earthquake, Rock Slide there, obviously, for the Gyarados, and Swords Dance to SD up on some really annoying things that allow me to SD up on them. Like, for instance, um, his Mega Aggron, which can't really do much to me. I can SD up in his face, uh, especially if he's low, although Earthquake still won't do, do too much to it because it's so bulky, but that's fine. I'll SD up on it anyway. Uh, and then we're max attack adamant, obviously, and we're just going max speed and rest in special defense because uh, I just want to make sure I outspeed, outspeed everything on his team, including Scarfers, after the sand. Up next, we have our T-Tar, which is choice specs this week. We're running Stealth Rock, Thunderbolt, Ice Beam, and Fire Blast. I needed Stealth Rock for something to do damage to the Gyarados upon switch in, as well as the Dragonite to break its multi-skill. That's very, very, very important because the thing could be running weakness policy, and if I hit it with an Ice Beam, uh, with multi-scale, if he's bulky, he has a chance to live. Or he could have a chance to live. I don't know, I'm choice specs, max special attack. I prep so well, guys. But I, I just don't want to run that risk of him going plus two and then just ruining my day with whatever he wants and setting up an agility. You know, basically what I've tried to do in that live. Yeah, let's just forget about that live. Anyway, <laughs> that's our T-Tar this week. Uh, max special attack, modest, uh, the rest is in HP and special defense. Up next we are running our laundromat here, Rotom. Uh, we're just running a standard physical defense set, uh, leftovers, Volt Switch, Hydro Pump, Willow Wisp, and Pain Split. This is just your standard Smogon physical defense pivot set, pretty much. Uh, not much to say about that. Uh, obviously it's going to be very crucial to hit that Volt Switch on the Gyarados, knock it out. Uh, since it is four times weak to electric, even the electric berry won't do too much for him there. So, uh, as you see, I've prepped very heavily for that Gyarados so far because I've obviously it's 21 and 0. You know, why wouldn't he bring it? But uh, Will O' Wisp is very good here as well for the Gyarados, for the Dragonite, for the Lucario, unless it hits just from the special side. But it might be Mixed Lucario. Mixed Lucario is very common. And just the Aggron as well, since it can't be toxic, a Will-O-Wisp on it would be very, very, very nice just for residual damage because the only form of recovery it has is rest. Uh, up next is our newly acquired Pokemon that we traded our Blaziken for. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Dr. Dreidel making his debut on the Lake Huron Lanterns, running the Intimidate with the Assault Vest, Mach Punch, Close Combat, Stone Edge, and Rapid Spin. Keep those hazards off my side of the field. I don't want them. And we can already see right off the bat, this Rapid Spin support is helping us out a lot because now we can run SD on our Excadrill. This Sword Stance would have been Rapid Spin if it were not for the Hitmon top. So I'm feeling so much better about this. I can bring Assault Vest on this thing, have it be bulky from both the physical with, since, because of the Intimidate and the special side because of the Assault Vest, and then run setup moves or a fourth move uh, for coverage on my Excadrill. I, I'm already loving this, guys. But yeah, Mach Punch and Close Combat, obviously both stab. Really nice to have that priority there. Uh, hit my top gets so many forms of priority. Bullet Punch, Sucker Punch, Mach Punch. Uh, close Combat, obviously stab. It's incredibly hard, especially since we're actually going Adamant Nature. 204 here. We're going 144 in uh, the HP and 160 in Special Defense just to make sure we're incredibly bulky. Uh, we can take almost any hit from anything. 
just because, uh, or especially after the Intimidate, which you take almost any hit from anything, uh, except for maybe super effective hits from certain Pokemon. Uh, obviously Stone Edge is here for things like Gyarados, uh, for the Dragonite, and Rapid Spin to keep hazards off my side of the field because I don't want them on my side of the field because of our next Pokemon, which is also a newly acquired Pokemon that we traded, or I guess not traded, but traded in some free agent picks for. It lit our Chandelure Choice Scarf with Infiltrator just because sub Gyarados and sub Dragonite and substitutes stupid. So I'm running Fire Blast, Shadow Ball, Energy Ball, and HP Ice here. Uh, obviously Fire Blast for the Mega Agron. This is one of the main reasons why I picked up Chandelure because I needed a response to Mega Agron and just good steel types in general. Nothing, hardly anything's going to want to switch into a Fire Blast on his team to be completely honest. Uh, and whatever does switch into a Fire Blast is not going to want to take a Shadow Ball, Energy Ball, or an HP Ice. HP Ice just obliterates Dragonite. Uh, especially since, look at this, look at this special attack. Oh my god, 470, or not 472, huh, 427. <laughs> Max special attack, modest nature. Just enough speed to outspeed everything on his team after a Scarf. And uh, 32 in HP, just because, why not put it in HP? And up next we have some yellow magic shenanigans. Once again, the Focus Ash Lipard comes. Sox is here. U-turn just for some priorities. I have the Volt Turn combo here. Knock off to get rid of items. It's also Stab. Uh, we have the T-Wave here for his fast Pokemon like the Gyarados and the Lucario and everything else. If I can't get a burn on the Aggron, I'd like to at least T-Wave it to make sure it can't like set up curses on me and... Ugh, ugh. You know, at least get a full pair or something. And then Encore to Encore something into, like, for instance, uh, the Dragonite or the Gyarados and Encore into D-Dance so I can start knocking off and uh, T-Waving, doing that kind of stuff. Uh, also, maybe Encore the Aggron into either Curse or Stealth Rock, something like that. That way it allows me to make some plays from there, knowing they can't do anything to me. Of course, we're max speed jolly, max attack. So that's our live part this week, guys. Uh, that's our team as well. We're bringing two brand new Pokemon this week. I'm very excited for both of them. I expect both of them to do so much work against Chrono. Uh, we need this win. We need this win. We need this win. He is 4-1. and one. We are 2-3. and three. This will put us back in the playoff race at 500 and bring him down to 4-2, and two, which means we're right behind him. We would be right behind him at that point, and he's been doing so well this season. Uh, if we pick up the win this week, guys, it's going to be absolutely huge. So, uh, again, leave a like down below if you liked our team builder. Leave a comment as well, let me know if there's anything you would have changed. Uh, and also subscribe and follow me on Twitter to be notified when the battle video comes out tomorrow, guys. My name's Shakofina. I'm excited for this battle, and I'm out.